and in 2015 my husband collapsed he had what they called a thunderclap which was a lack of oxygen going to his brain and so he was taken to hospital we spent a really terrifying night and they said they couldn't find anything the matter with him so that was really scary but we got over it and then a few months later uh, a letter arrived from the hospital to say that Paul needed to go and have some tests because they needed to find out why the thunderclap happened so we went to the hospital Paul had lots of tests about his lungs and breathing and then the terrible news came that Paul had um, nodules on his lungs and of course we were all absolutely petrified and my husband Paul's not a Christian he doesn't go to church but when I asked would he like me to ask the vicar to come and pray with him he said yes please and the lady was called Reverend Eleanor and she came and she laid her hands on Paul's lungs and prayed for him now I didn't know till many years later that Paul knew immediately that he was healed but he went to the hospital had biopsies on his lungs and all was well the nodules were there but they weren't harmful in any way but it wasn't until many years later that Paul shared with me that he knew God had healed him.